you know? Relocated. Yeah. Relocated. Yeah, it, it's insane. Um, hmm. We, as a city, certainly have that type of history with our people. Yes. I mean, yes. uh, one thing I wanted to bring up to you, which I kind of told you about it mm -hmm. beforehand, is something that happened because as the, as of this recording it is uh, it's two days actually it's well it's three days it's monday it's uh mental health awareness day and it's also indigenous mm -hmm. people's day and something happened i don't know if this happened today um but it has to do with uh, our community mm -hmm. los angeles uh there's leaked audio of not just an la council member but the president of the LA council, a uh, com community council, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, city council, pardon me. And her name is Nuri Martinez. And Nuri Martinez is the president of the LA council. I don't know if she's resigned mm -hmm. or not yet, but some audio is leaked of her. I haven't heard about this. Yeah. It, well, I was sent it today, gotcha. right before our recording by a friend, uh, Lynn. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the audio, which I listened to, she makes a lot of comments about just racist comments mm. about uh, black kids, Korean kids, uh, the whole thing being very territorial. And it's something that happens amongst minorities that needs to be reevaluated and stopped where we, especially, and I've experienced this firsthand in the Hispanic community. There's a lot of otherism and a lot of, uh, I guess othering is the right term. A lot of colorism, I think. Where you, let's say you were Mexican, right? Mm -hmm. And you hung out with a bunch of other Mexicans, right? And you grew up around here. And sure. you went to El Monte. And you were treated lesser than because you didn't look the part. You didn't dress the part. You Certainly. didn't speak Spanish, right? That is something that I can't stand. It's something that has to stop. Because uh, uh, this is how I've always looked at it. Mm -hmm. Especially when I've been treated this way. The people... Who, in this country who have power mm -hmm. who are racist who make the decisions right they're gonna treat us the same mm -hmm. you know you're you're mexican i'm mexican right we're gonna be treated the same no matter how different we speak from each other so why are we treating ourselves this way why are we treating other races this the way that racists treat them you know for this woman for this elected official behind closed doors to say all the, this this awful stuff about I don't even want to read it. It's so bad, but it like, it's just awful. Why are you in a position of power? And why do you feel compelled to say these things? This is insane. You know, this is insane. you you were elected to represent us and us means everyone, you know, including, you know, white people, Korean people, uh, you know, <laughs> you're exactly right. Purple people, <laughs> polka dot people, right? It's insane. And it, it makes, our community look like a bunch of fools who we're just going to elect anyone with the last name Martinez in there, right? Anyone, you know, you, I, I'll let you talk. I'm, I'm just going to let this last point. You have a responsibility when you get in that office. You're absolutely right. You know, you have a responsibility to represent the best of our community and the represent the best of our interests because this woman, she puts out a lot of, uh, you know, pride in being, latin right pride in being mexican and hispanic right but it is that's all you're fucking that's all you're representing you are re representing los angeles and los angeles is not just mexican people mm -hmm. and and i feel that mexican people uh and, and look, i've dealt with a lot of racism mm -hmm. sure from this town i've i've felt it you know but we that. are not the we're not just Mexican people in Los Angeles. We are black people. We're Asian people. We're white people. We are Los Angeles. We're everybody yeah. here, you know? So you are here to represent everybody. So I just hate when this type of shit happens. And I'm not trying to be woke or I'm not trying to cancel anybody. It's, it's but not, it's it, not is, like that. it is incredibly inappropriate and it is wrong. And she needs to resign. It's I, as simple I, as that. I really appreciate you speaking up about it. I think that regardless of any ranking or or position that you're at as a position of government in this country um, and certainly in this I don't want to say certainly in this state right um, but in this country centered around freedom and equal rights um, I really can't see a situation where a public worker 
who knows full well how they feel internally yeah would bother putting themselves in this position of power if they i mean if they were going to lament it the whole time yeah i mean it would be like if a doctor hated ha- hated having private conversations with other humans well you need to speak with patience yeah okay well the same people that voted her in are the same people that she spoke against yeah but that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense but she knew it she knew the demographics of the city she was running for mm-hmm. because she needed to target them in order to get into the into the voting lobby yeah but then she has obviously no concern for them yeah. if that's how she speaks about them then it's it's very easy to assume that she gave no accommodations or considerations for them when she was handling political decisions or lobbying um, while she was in that position. I don't know how long she's been in it. I, for, I don't know but, either. I heard about this today, but all I know is that this is, um, it's embarrassing because it is pe- embarrassing. people already have uh, in the country, in the rest of the country, people already have a view of California and especially this area in California. Mm-hmm. People already have the view of it being um, elitist, uh, very PC, mm-hmm. and very... Uh, also just a mess, right? Just a mess with a mess that has racial undertones because that's... I, I feel like that could be said for most cities in this country, you know, especially when it comes to displacement, like what we were talking about. Right. And division and new forms of segregation, right? Right. But for someone to say this on, like, you're on audio, we can hear you saying it, you're just confirming those criticisms, and you do not, you automatically, when you say that type of shit, you don't speak for us. Hmm? You know, automatically, you don't. So, it's just really disappointing, you know? I believe that regardless of any political beliefs or backgrounds, every, as every person tries to set an example for themselves, every community tries to set an example for where they are. Right. Um... So, reg- so regardless of of where they are on the political spectrum, um, fundamentally, or at least in LA County, we're trying to aim for a situation that represents our values. Right. And for us growing up and being raised here, we understand that it's about trying to. I keep saying the word accommodate. But it's, but it's trying to comprehend and assess this melting pot of different demographics that we're dealing with here. Mm-hmm. And when I say dealing with, I don't mean it in a negative way because it's a very beautiful phenomenon um, that we've been exposed to. But it's a situation of, of intermingling and that in our community... We want to represent that we treat every demographic um, equally. And for this person who we put into office um, to try to be a representative of ourselves and then speak negatively against one or more groups, um, (laughs) she's she's, uh, pretty lost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I already have a weird or not a weird thing i think Mm. it's actually something that most people should have where when it comes to politics Mm -hmm. especially politicians you have to put your faith in them but at you have to put your faith hold your faith out from an arm's Mm -hmm. length does that make sense yeah you know what i mean you have to warily trust them Mm -hmm. and because because they probably started hopefully ideally started this career with the best of intentions, right? right? Like, uh, someone like Bernie Sanders, it's my guy, right? Because he's consistently, throughout his career, shown that he was about what was right. right. And even with someone like Bernie, I look at him skeptically, because I have to, because this shit happens, you know, where we have politicians, and we have them, we hear all the, you know, all the right things, but then nothing happens and i understand that politics and, and that whole world mm-hmm. is very entangled and it's much more right. complicated. it's a complex situation yes. but and there are there are problems that withhold certain uh progressive movements right I, I get that but what i'm saying is that this happens you know there are people who we vote be, we vote in because of the way they smiled 
you know, the, the, their demeanor and everything. And not based on their record. And it's insane to me. But but I agree that at the same time that you need to hold them at a distance and, right. and engage them. It's, it's also in the same manner that you're watching for whether or not they turn out to be prejudiced or start being prejudiced. It's also if they stop working as hard that they you do or stop representing the demographics or the people that that put them into office a representative is only good as how much they represent the people so yeah. whether or not they're prejudiced or they stop stop working or they start having a misaligned misaligned political views let's say um then they stop being then you can you you continue to gauge it and when eventually when it hits one of those three then you decide that this representative is no longer necessary for us and you vote somebody else into power yeah